when when they're when they're teaching a lot of the stuff which borders on inappropriate sexual behavior you think the police are actually going to do anything there's laws they have to they have to literally if you're a child and that teacher or she was a workshop they do the workshops now justine ang was her name um i can't think of her last name but it was justine ang something and uh she's the one that did both of the workshops she was one that showed the pornography to the 16 year olds at the dalton school in new york city and she was the same one who showed the cartoon to first graders about masturbation about how it feels good to touch themselves let my child into the first grade have seen a cartoon about masturbation and I'm going to go, if you literally showed a child on a playground a cartoon about masturbation that's disseminating sexual uh, material to a minor. Yep. Point blank. If you go to the police and you follow a report, there's no law saying to police, well, it happened in school, so you can't do anything as it was taught to them. No. Wow. You know, the second is, so one parent has the courage to do that, right? Yeah, and a teacher gets arrested, this crap yeah. is going to stop because teachers are going to be like, uh-uh. Let's go. Yeah. Look, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not getting arrested. Like yes. you're, you're, a, you're a sexual offender. In my yeah, opinion, really Justine Ang should have to register as a sexual offender. Justine Ang Fonte, I think Fonte. is what her name? Yeah, she, she should be in prison. This is from a month ago. Columbia prep students and parents reel after class on porn literacy. Mm -hmm. I can't say the words. I can't say the words that were being taught. It's like this was a class that taught, if I say the words, YouTube will maybe even take this video incestuous down. Incestuous porn. Like like incestuous what? porn. Yeah, in class. And none, I can't the say parents, there words, was no bro. permission slip that went out. It's to, disgusting. To first kindergarten? That, that was a 16 year old. But she oh, also 16. was the same one who did yeah. the first I mean, still, graders. The thing is, these people have and that the was title. A, that was a cartoon about masturbation for the first oh graders. They, about how it feels good to touch yourself. And it was talk, it was, it was a cartoon. I, they give these people tit the title of teacher. And that it's similar to having the title of president. If you win the title because you got picked, then you get this title. But the real teachers are like on the internet, like Jordan Peterson. He makes yeah. videos. No one has to be there. People choose to listen and learn. Mm -hmm. But these people are people are stuffed in and forced to listen to this person with a with a, a badge that says something. That that's what they've realized that these kids are a captive audience. Mm. That and and they were. Do you remember uh, when the lockdown first started? They started doing remote schools. And one of the teachers was caught, someone recorded this, where they were like, I'm worried the parents are going to find out what yep. we're teaching their kids mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Critical and race theory. And that's the thing. And, and the government understands this. And then, again, the irony being everyone is calling people, you're literally Hitler. You're literally Nazi. Well, what was Nazi youth? Okay. What was Nazi youth? It was a, a way to plug them into a system to get to get the children on board into the system to believe everything that the government believed. Well, that's the exact same thing that's happening right now. That it didn't change because it's happening on American soil. That they have obviously understood for six hours a day they have your children. They're, and now they're rinsing the schools of hard academics. They don't, math is racist. That's an initiative by Bill Gates. We can yeah. look it up. Bill Gates started an initiative saying that whites, that math, and encouraging children to get the right answer is a form of white supremacy. Um, he's calling it equitable math. And now he is pushing for the curriculum to stop teaching kids to get the right answer and to just allow them to tell you how they got the wrong one and they should still get a 100. Check, That's to like, make your child dumb. Check right? this out. Check this out. We went to, uh, we were talking about this yesterday. I went to a skate park over the weekend. And skate parks notorious for kids being punk rock, fighting with security guards, vandalizing property. And you know what the graffiti was at the skate park? Black Lives Matter. <laughs> trans rights or human rights that yeah. was the graffiti and I, and I started laughing I'm like that's like an amazon.com like big bold thing when you go on it's like a, it's like it's like a, it's a, it's a, it's an organization it is mainstream pop culture the embassies fly the flag and little kids think they're being rebels by adopting a message right. that is used by US embassies and walmart.com right that is youth indoctrination. They, and they don't get it because these kids, they're kids, right? And the problem is that the adults are crazy, right? So the adult, adults are totally Looney Tunes, right? So the problem is is twofold. It's that there's some weird Olympic event to be the most woke parent. Like, oh, we're so accepting and loving because my child's a non-binary species and it's amazing, right? That's like the new thing. And I'm like, I'm such trans an amazing Korean. parent my child, a non-binary mermaid. And then you couple that with the education system that's reinforcing that. Okay, so how is it possible that when I went to school, there was no such thing as non-binary? We didn't have a single child that was non-binary. Yes, right? Sam. We didn't have it, right? So it's obviously not natural for all of these kids to be popping up now doing videos saying I'm non-binary because none of us had this issue when we were growing up. And none of the people that I went to school with, now that it's even an option, have opted into this, right? Because it just wasn't even presented to them, right? It wasn't presented. So it's not like, oh, they were just suppressing this. And then now that it's a thing, I have all of these kids that I graduate with that are like, I'm, I was always non-binary. No, it was like tomboys. Like I was a tomboy when I was in fifth grade. The, 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 this is <laughs> why oh, we got we got to be careful about saying it's just critical race theory in schools. Oh, it's because way it's more. critical theory in general. Yeah. It's like the Marxist yes. oppressor versus oppressed. Mm -hmm. It is critical gender theory. It is critical race theory. Mm -hmm. It is critical white studies. Mm -hmm. It is the idea that everything is bad. You're the bad guy. I'm always right, no matter what happens. You know, uh, 
you're the problem. Right. Dude, so give me it's power. like, why roll the dice? Why roll the dice? People are. I would never kids, send my child. They're getting the internet. Three year olds are on the internet. So we're talking about these technocrats keeping their kids off the internet. And there's a reason because when a three year old goes on and, and looks at like cartoons, but then it turns out it's a YouTube cartoon of Hitler dancing with Bugs Bunny, and you're like, what is this? Did, and they're learning about like why it's okay to why gender doesn't matter and it, it hate your, it's whatever. raising it your children the internet stuff. is raising children and a good example of this like in the mainstream is so Dwayne Wade right he has a child who has come out as a trans I don't know how to, I don't even know what, he had a son who now identifies as a daughter right and I remember watching the story and, you know, him and Gabrielle Union came out and, you know, she's super woke and they were like so saying how like brave and encouraged they were and like this is just who this person was, right? But then I remember seeing the photo and um, this is before he had declared his gender as being a woman or a girl um, and seeing a photo of his son in a crop top you know, at a pride parade um, and with long, long, like Cardi B, like fingernails, right? Okay, well, that obviously wasn't who this person was. Where'd you learn the crop top and the long fingernails, right? That's social. Social construct. That's a social construct, Mm -hmm. right? So you can't tell me, you know, you can say people have a natural affinity. Okay, one took up with the guy, one took up with the girl, but you didn't learn long fingernails, right? So where did your child learn that with my question, Dwayne Wade? How how did we start with the crop tops and the long nails? Because that's not a thing. And the answer, of course, is going to be the internet. Because if you're on Instagram today, that is a culture, you know, not even uh, the Kardashians. um, What's the... Uh, Kylie Jenner, you know, the oh, lips, yeah. the fingernails, all this stuff. It created an entire culture of this. And you're a basketball player. I know how aggressive that schedule is. I know that it is hard to be a parent and be on the road playing um, X amount of games all, all year. And so what was happening while you were on the road and he's, you know, in a split home as well. So it was with his, you know, with his, his mother. Um, it's likely that the Internet helped to raise your kid. And this is how we got here. But rather than have that conversation, which is much more severe and hard to have, we're just going to go ahead and allow your, you know, 12 year old, at least then 12 year old to make a permanent life decision. Okay, three, fine. Three year old. Three? Dwayne Wade. Three. Uh, his trans daughter knew her identity since she was three years Which old. Which is scary because I babysat three year olds who literally think they're mermaids. Like yep. I've had a three year old in a tub, she cried and screamed and threw a temper tantrum because she told me she was a mermaid. I'm and I cannot imagine giving credence to that and saying, you know what? sleep in the bath tonight because I am sorry and I can't wait to go to tell the other parents how amazing Mm -hmm. and woke I am because I'm accepting you as a mermaid. I'm I'm pretty (laughs) sure when I was three and my mom asked me what I wanted to be and this is a true story I said a pumpkin. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah it was like I was just like a little kid and that was like a story my mom would say people would be like what does he want to be and she's like well he said pumpkin so. I really wanted to be a Power Ranger. Yes. Yeah. I still kind of do, but I mean, you know. You know he's joined the Marines. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody Crockett recognized my Power Ranger which, skills. Which Power Ranger? Um, oh, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. By the way, in the retrospect, how racist? Yeah. <laughs> the yellow one's Asian. The black one's black. The white one's white. The pink one's oh, a girl. The pink ones what? Are girl. Oh, that was so yeah, funny. That was I amazing. love the Power. It's amazing. Probably the robot. Or that would was you like build your own for all them? Right. Oh. Build my, yeah. Like I, I love. I like like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I was know. it. It was, I was yeah, in that's the so Voltron weird though like wait wait how, how did how did the original Power Rangers happen where they're like sitting there and like let's make the Yellow Ranger Asian yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, why, why would you I know it's so great it's so great Ranger was I know. black I know I'm sure they're already canceled we just have to look Google it I'm it, sure someone realized that 20 years later and was dude, like, sure. it goes back to like the 70s there was a show that was like the first one where there was like five people in different colored outfits that would come together to form like a big creature and then it became Voltron that it became the Power Rangers yeah I was but Power Rangers I, I don't know that original show I'm yeah. not sure, I don't remember what it's called I have you know? no idea Okay. Yeah. Voltron. Yeah, Voltron was the '80s version. They were all, all these cat machines. They would ride around, and then they'd form this giant guy who had a big Gosh, sword. This Ian, big how old robot. are you? Forty-two. Okay. It yeah, was hot. Eighty-six. <laughs> yeah. I like old the green dude. power. We're dinosaur. Green power. Remember yeah. when um, Mario Lopez was it? He was on someone's show. Yeah. And he said, "I don't think three-year-olds know that they're trans." You know what show that was? Who was, who was it? The Candace Owen show. That was no your way. show. Yeah. yeah. He, got, <laughs> he got in trouble. <laughs> he did. He came on my show, and it was. What was so bizarre, and Mario's a friend of mine, and like, what was so bizarre is like, we just didn't go there. Like, it was like sort of just, it was such a non question. It wasn't like I was pushing him. It was just sort of like, what's it like in Hollywood now? Because you, it's the woke Olympics. And he was very nice. And he just said, like, you know, for me personally, like, you know, I understand when you're an adult, do what you want, but we just let kids be kids. Yeah. You know, and they, and it was funny because it was like two months later after the interview and then suddenly like Mario Lopez is trending and there and everyone listened to it and was like he literally said as nice as possible like hey let kids grow up and um, 
they were in to cancel him and he, he apologized. had to issue he did apologize but i will say it was a very like it's always the same apology like copy and pasted where like you have to say it and you know i was bummed that he apologized but also not bummed because he's a great he's a fantastic person really a fantastic human being i think him and his wife are such an example of what it means to just be a very present family. I'm very impressed by them. And just imagine everything you have being gone in a moment unless you do this. And so, yes, I, I would I would stand by my guns. But when you have three small kids, it gets harder and it gets harder and it gets harder, right? He is, but think about the future for those kids. 100% true, but he's probably, he, he's on the other side thinking of the future for those kids, right? So it's like whatever schools they go to, I don't know, maybe they go to private school, they have a house, he's got a mortgage to pay. So I've tried to be more understanding um, I think when you have the, the aut- autonomy to do it, it's a lot easier. Like, there's no excuse when there's like a person who's like no family and just takes it. I'm like, come on, man. But I get it because he just, and I, I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm on your side. I think he would have done that and he would have been a hero and other doors would have been open, but it's a very big risk to ask somebody to take who's it's, that it's, established. It's true. And I've said this, like I understand people who have kids who are scared to speak out, mm. but it really sounds like you're betting the future will be communist wokeness and so you want to keep your family safe yeah but if everyone said no then the future wouldn't be let me tell you if i could just maybe one day i I might i won't but like the a-list celebrities that are in my inbox that i speak to you would be shocked at how many of them hate it i mean it's all it's they are definitely i think the majority of them hate it right it's actually the majority of them hate it and i have conversations with them on the phone and i'm just like man you're like top player in the NBA it'd be amazing if you spoke out like hey you're the number I get the one same two thing. R&B it, singer you know and it's I like got, and they can't do it and it, so they I, just talk to us to almost like we're like I'm their therapist you know where they can yep. just let it go I've had people rock stars skateboarders call me some nearly crying like I'm scared man mm-hmm. you know I could I, I could lose, any, lose everything at a moment I don't know what to do yeah. and I'm like you're gonna call me and talk to me for two hours it's like therapy it really is it is they it's can't like talk therapy. to anybody they're scared they're terrified they know yeah. they can talk to me because they watch my show and they trust it and I'm like you have how many millions of followers you could come out right now and just say guys I do not think this is okay. I think you need to chill. And they're like, yeah, but I'll lose everything. And I'm like, you're a millionaire, I dude. Well, I mean, that's why kudos to that guy, actually, uh, the Mumford and Son, Sons guy. Yeah. I read his piece today, actually. It was the first time I read it. I think he released it five days ago. And just saying, like, I couldn't, you know, I knew that I could lose everything. But at the same, at the end of the day, like, my soul wouldn't sit right if I allowed this radicalism to be the reason. And he just stepped down from the band because there's things that are more important in life. And I think people like him are heroic and to platform that i think the more and more people that kind of inch forward and do it eventually it'll just be an avalanche you look at what happens with veritas you know when someone blows the whistle and goes to veritas what happened that facebook guy raised half a million bucks Mm -hmm. because there are there there are people who will support you Mm -hmm. when you come out and you be brave you will not be left holding the bag and i think what james is doing is incredible because he's proving it yeah He's, he's saying be brave and then he's like, and this guy got half a million dollars. Right. That's true. I was just thinking, is it going to take like another Jesus or Socrates that speaks the truth, speaks the truth, society revolts, executes the person, and then 50 or 100 years later, we realize, what have we done? Why? What have we... This person was saying the right thing. Mm. But you, no, it's not going to take that because we have people like James. People, It's <laughs> happening. This upsurgence is happening all at once, and people are making half a million bucks after the fact. So. Yeah. We've, we've gotten, we've evolved. In are that you, are right. you comparing James O'Keefe to Jesus or Socrates? <laughs> all of us, baby. Yeah. We all have that in us to speak up against the empire. And that's, if we yeah, do it no, together. It's, true. it's funny because I just recently reread Plato's Apology. And it's just incredible. History repeats itself. And, you know, calling out the corruption of senators and, and the courage that it took to know that there was no upside other than, you know, death and, and, to, and to have it be noble. And, you know, I hear that same message. That was kind of my mentality when I sort of jumped out of the window. And, you know, I know that was Kanye's mentality. If you listen to his music, I mean, a lot of the courage that I have is because I listen to so much Kanye West. And to me, I, I don't have the slave mentality, right? So I'd rather be executed running away, right, <laughs> towards freedom. Like, I, I'm, d- I'm definitely the slave that would have run away from the plantation. I'm the Harriet Tubman. I'm like, you know, I'm the Kanye West. I'm the, you know, pick a t- point in time. I'm, I'm the Socrates asking people, to, walking down the street, asking them questions about what they think. But because freedom is natural to me. But I don't know, as I was saying earlier, if it's natural for everybody. I, I, I wonder now, as I look at this society, I look at COVID-19, people that were like, please lock us down. Please put us in our homes. Please tell me when to see my mom and dad. I'm like, maybe people just want to be enslaved. And this yeah. model of you know slave and master, meaning government and people that it controls, will never be broken. Freedom is scary. Yeah. Freedom is dangerous. 
for those of us that are adults, we're okay with that. Yeah. You know what I did today? I went and I picked a bunch of wild berries did and you? then I cooked them and ate them. Wow. I see. Yeah. That's, I got to get on that. Like, so one thing that I, I'm definitely lacking in is I think it is so important for us to know how to farm. Yeah. It's got, like so important. I mean, the amount of control you give up when you can't feed yourself yeah. is that's like the next unlock the next layer of the Candace Owens game. I, 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 I want yeah. Candace Owens Farms. When you pull the weed out, super yeah. smooth, it's so rewarding. And my last name is Farmer, legally. Oh, like, nice. Like I, got, I just got married. And Congratulations. My last name is, so now it's even weirder to be Mama. like Candace Farmer and literally Farms. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. If you want to see the full show, come back to this channel, youtube.com slash TimCast IRL, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m., where you can leave comments and super chat and we actually will read your comments on the show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you want exclusive members-only content, segments you can't get anywhere else, go to TimCast.com, become a member, and we even have full bonus episodes. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.